last piece. Something you talk about in your book is the difference between being a victim and victimized. And I think that mm -hmm. touched upon sure. creating a narrative. And I think if you could just define that for us, yeah. that we're not yeah. victims anymore. We yeah. may have victimized by the system, but we're adults now. Yeah. You know, a victim is someone who carries an identity of victimhood throughout their life. And someone who is simply victimized describes an experience that they had. And what they choose, they choose because everyone has some personal agency. What they choose to do with those events in terms of creating a self-narrative of who they want to be in the world. If you carry the victim identity, which I think represents the primal wound, you will be a victim the rest of your life and you'll never find a way out of this if you choose to recognize those events were ones in which you had been victimized because the way you came into a family, the transmission and honesty of the information about you and the accessibility to that information and to a future relationship with people whom you share blood with if all of that is denied, then you've been victimized and the victimization continues until such time as we open records. It's time to stop thinking of ourselves as victims, but as people who have been victimized by circumstance and by legislation, by community attitudes, but it's also time to say, I am strong. You know, I was listening to Helen Reddy sing. She just passed away a couple of days ago. She she has that song. I, I maybe you 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 heard it was said. I am strong. I am woman. Mm. I want the adoption community to say, first parents, adoptive parents, and adoptees to say, I am strong. And we matter together. And we matter together. We need each other. Yeah, we do. We truly do. And your book inspired me to start Celia Center, bring us all together, as scary as this <laughs> it is for many people to come into a support group and see there's birth mothers, see there's adoptive parents, and there's adoptees. And I also include the foster care constellation. And and we have we we have another group coming. They're oh. already here. They're already here. Who's and that? People who were born through assisted reproduction. Yes. Yes. They're, they will far outnumber mm -hmm. those in the adoption constellation, and their issues are identical. In my book, I actually trace their psychological profile and, and, and the, the context in which they live their lives and the inability up until the up until 23 and me and uh, all of the other companies that were genetic companies in the and the wonderful registry we now have for people who uh, are uh, the result of assisted reproduction but mm -hmm. they're in the same circumstances we are 